Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about Lou Williams and how he can score at will and how he can gain so many fouls from other players without really even trying that much. So the first thing that Lou Williams does, he gets into the triple threat and that's something that every, every single player should do. You shouldn't be automatically just turning your back to the basket or anything like that. When you get the ball, you should go straight to triple threat because obviously you can drive, you can pass, and you can shoot. So, very good. But you're going to get the ball and if your player, if your defender has his arm on you at all, swipe through. So if he's playing defense like this, and he has his arm out straight out in front of you, definitely take advantage of that and do what Lou Williams does. When he gets that ball and somebody is on his, on his midline, somebody has his, their hand right there, he's gonna move the ball around and he's gonna swipe through and drive. Now the reason why he does that is because now as soon as a player hits your arms, and you're dribbling, it's a foul. Now, back in the day, back a while ago, you used to see Kyle Lowry, Lou Williams, they both played on the Raptors, and what you would see is they would get that ball, they would swipe through and take that shot because now it's a shooting foul. They've changed that in the NBA at the high school level. I personally haven't seen that change yet. So get that ball, if they're on you, swipe through and drive, swipe through and shoot, get as much contact as possible, and then really, really sell it. So now you get it, you get that ball, you swipe through and go, oh, foul, but make sure you make the, make your shot. So to make your shot like that, you go, you step in, you swipe through, and then you go up like a normal shot. Because 100% guarantee, that player is gonna try and draw his hands back. So you're not getting that much contact, you're gonna get that ball and go swipe through and then shot. Now you may be wondering why? Why did I just say to go into triple threat and I'm having my hands up here? Well, the reason is, is if a player has their hand out in front of you, they want you to be in triple, triple threat so that they can knock it away from you. So when you get that ball straight away to triple threat, but if their hand comes towards you, lift the ball up high so that they can't get it and then swipe through their arms, draw the foul, drive towards the rim. You might get an end one, you might just get a regular foul, or if you're a really good shooter, you can swing through and take that shot. And you might get lucky enough that a ref will call you for an end one, and you'll get three or two shots from that free throw line. This goes for mid post and post players as well. So if you get that ball, and you're in the mid post and you feel somebody's hand on your back trying to push you out towards the three point line, you can do the exact same move on them. And what you have to do is do a reverse pivot, swipe through their arms as hard as you can, and then you have the chance to drive towards the rim. You have the chance to now take that shot and maybe get an and one, you can swipe through and get a shot off. And then in, in, if you're in the low post and you have somebody pushing you, pushing you, trying to get you out, and you get that ball, same thing applies. Reverse pivot, swipe through, and go in for your shot. These are all very deadly moves that we have learned from a solid sixth man of the year player who's really good. Kind of undersized because of being in the NBA, but really great moves. I hope that you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.